big changes coming to the Ubuntu flavors, they'll no longer be supporting flat packs by default for any of the flavors of Ubuntu. The announcement made here on the Ubuntu blog called This Course outlines some of the reasons they're getting rid of flat packs, which are sometimes known to be more updated with the bleeding edge of development. Let's start reading about why Ubuntu plans on stopping this support and why it's pushed its partnered flavors to do the same. Now, Ubuntu hasn't offered flat packs by default for a while, but has now decided to push the rest of its flavors into the same deal. So K Ubuntu, L Ubuntu, Ubuntu Budgie, Ubuntu Kylin, Ubuntu Mate, Ubuntu Studio, Ubuntu Unity, and X Ubuntu are all official flavors of Ubuntu. I do want to make mention of a few things. It's not that you won't be able to install flat packs at all. You'll just have to install them through the terminal by yourself. They're not going to be available in the app store anymore on your favorite Ubuntu flavors. And if you want to install Flatpak directly from the store, you won't be able to either. That might require you to add in a special repo in order to get Flatpaks. I'm not exactly sure how they're going to be allowing us to get Flatpak support on our systems, but we'll see. So one such fundamental aspect of any Linux distribution is packaging. Major distributions have all made opinionated choices to provide consistency in their ecosystem. Ubuntu builds on the foundation of dev packages and believes in the advantages of snaps. So here's where we start bringing up snaps into the equation. Something built and supported by Canonical, which is the organization that updates and develops on Ubuntu. Their aim is to provide a secure and simple user experience and make it easier to maintain packages. So we're going to come back to maintaining packages because I believe this is key to why they're making this change. I know that a lot of us are going to jump to the fact that this could maybe be a way just to push out flat packs in support of their own build of a packaging system called Snaps, but we'll look at it from a developer's perspective as well, just to get a idea on why it helps maintain packages. Anyways, we collaborate with contributors around the world to improve Snaps, again, their own packaging, and address remaining shortcomings as they are increasing part of the experience in Ubuntu. However, we also believe in the culture of openness where other packaging technologies are available and allow developers and users to explore different approaches. In an ideal world, users experience a single way to install software when they do so. They can expect that this mechanism is supported by the community and receives the majority of attention when it comes to resolving issues in software packages. When a new packaging technology is provided by default, there is an expectation that the distribution provides community support and is invested in contributing to the development to resolve issues. This creates fragmentation instead of focusing on improving the technologies chosen for the distribution. So in order for them to maintain focus while also providing user choice, Ubuntu and its flavors consider Debs and Snaps the default experience, meaning they're pushing flat packs out. Users have freedom of choice to get their software from another source, including Flatpak, a way to install these alternatives and will continue to be available for installations from the Ubuntu archive with a simple command. So some questions that we may have is, is this Ubuntu's way of pushing out flat packs in favor of users only being able to use their snaps? Well, I think it's a more complicated answer than just yes or no. Instead of developers take on this is very good. And maybe we can understand more why Ubuntu has chosen to go down this path. But before we get there, check out Delva.ai. Not sure how to start using AI for your business? Don't let your company fall behind. Start building an AI strategy today with Delva's AI Consulting. Schedule some time with Delva's AI Consultants and start integrating AI into your business. Again, check it out at delva.ai. There's a link in the description below. So with many people starting to ask questions and about why they're removing flat packs and if it's with malicious intent, well, we have a pretty good explanation by a developer here under the same blog post. As a developer, it might help to see a bit of the standpoint I have on this issue as I actually agree with the decision not to include flat packs by default. I may simply be reiterating with what this user already has said, but I don't have to talk about official language. So it might be a bit easier to swallow. It may be very easily overlooked, but one of the core features of Ubuntu is that the package versions change very, very rarely. If at all, bug fixes are taken from the openly viewable source code of an application, carefully tweaked to make the compatible with an older version of the software, patched in, tested, and only then deployed. There are few packages where this is impractical, Firefox for instance, and there are some closed source packages in the restricted repo that we can't backport patches into since we don't have the code. But for the most part, if you install an app into Ubuntu, 
that's the app you get. And that will be the app you continue to use for the rest of that release's lifespan. This is a powerful feature since it makes Ubuntu unlikely to randomly break your important data as often as that of another OS that you here get a lot of grief from the Linux geeks. But it also requires Canonical and Ubuntu as a community to have near total control over the software repository. And that's only possible if Canonical actually has the necessary control. So basically I believe the idea here is in order to have stable packages that don't break on you, Ubuntu needs to have full control of the package repository and the versions of packages that you get. So that's why they're pushing for snaps to make a more cohesive experience for all of its users on Ubuntu. It doesn't want to support flat packs and make sure that they're up to date and don't have any security vulnerabilities, remain stable, all that fun stuff that they would need to do in order to maintain someone else's repo. So that's kind of the argument here, at least from the developer side of things. It makes the life of a developer and maintainer a lot easier when just focusing on one specific type of supported packaging system and repo. So that's kind of the argument for snaps. Of course, there are other issues with snaps. Some of us know that them as being bloated, having slow startup times, falling behind the curve when it comes to up-to-date packages, because for instance, as mentioned even in here, Firefox being one of them, who gets updated quite frequently, it's hard to follow up with a snap with the frequent updates that some of the web browsers are making, which is important because you're constantly running into fixing security vulnerabilities in browsers and it is just a necessary thing to have updates coming in all the time with browsers. You can imagine other packages doing the same, but basically that was the argument laid out for only having snaps in the other Ubuntu flavors, just so there's a more cohesive experience and their team of maintainers and developers can focus only on one supported packaging system. Of course, you'll also have access to devs, the source packages. You'll still have access to snaps in their store and you can install flat packs by yourself. It just makes it a little harder to use the flat pack since they're not default in any of the flavors of Ubuntu. Let me know what you think about this change to Ubuntu in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And do you agree or disagree with this change? What else does it affect? I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.